Hi, this is Jim Stark with the publisher of Kim Air Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another, another episode of Turning the Page. Today we have for you, uh, from uh, Osprey Publishing, a book called Tiger Tank. This is by Marcus Cowper. Um, you can see a nice Tiger Tank uh, illustrated on the cover here. It is a hardcover book, kind of a a small coffee table-ish book or you know side table kind of kind of book but obviously a very nicely printed in hardcover uh, on the back here it shows uh, some text with the most famous tank of World War II the German Tiger was a monster of a machine that dominated the battlefields of Europe and cemented its reputation as nearly invincible excuse me as near invincibility during the savage battles of the Eastern Front Hitler's obsessive pursuit of the Ever heavier and more powerful tanks meant it was soon redeveloped into the Tiger II, or King Tiger, an even more formidable opponent for Allied armor. Drawing on, on a wealth of research, detailed artwork, and contemporary photographs, this is a complete guide to these iconic machines, exploring their strengths, weaknesses, and successes, successes on the battlefield as they dueled against the best the Allies had to offer. And uh, it looks like this uh, book runs about seven pounds, twelve dollars, or fourteen dollars Canadian. So let's go ahead and take a peek or a flip through, shall we? I'm going to raise my camera up a little bit, otherwise I won't be able to actually turn the pages. So, but uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, again, nice glossy uh, materials here, very, very um, well produced or pu uh, well published, I should say. Uh, this one, the table of contents uh, includes introduction, chronology, design and development, technical specifications, Crew training and organization, tigers versus allied armor, conclusion, glossaries and abbreviation, and index. I should point out that this is kind of a departure for Osprey. They don't usually produce books of this type. They usually produce the more uh, typical soft cover reference book. So it must have been thought that the tiger is such a, an iconic tank that a uh, hardcover book like this may be uh, more interested, or it may be found more interesting by uh, groups other than just modelers, uh, historians, gamers, uh, people just like, you know, who like uh, uh, machines of, of this type and so forth. Uh, certainly uh, the Brits calling uh, their event at Bovington Tiger Day probably has something to do with this obvious popularity of this uh, this tank, uh, at least in that, uh, that social kind of culture thing. So, uh, introduction section here. A, a lot of these photos may be uh, typical photos we've seen already. Uh, obviously, again, kind of iconic photos of the tiger. The text, as you can see here, is uh, very easy to read, and they have the chronology section. Uh, they have uh, design and development going over various different bits. Um, yeah, but some, but some of the pictures definitely look familiar. That one, that one doesn't, but um, maybe you've seen it before. But again, so just flipping through, you know, they've got illustrations in here, cutaways. Um, basically just, you know, a nice, a nice little reference book on the tiger with you know, quite a bit of text. I mean, there's a, a bit of text here. These are the typical illustrations you'd see in some of their other books, uh, with the crosshairs and so forth. Uh, nice overhead shot there of the battlefield. Um, illustrations again, lots of text. I mean, it's definitely not a picture book. It is a full-on reference history, reference book. So, but in a very small, you know, Cute kind of kind of arrangement. Uh, just to give you an example, uh, where's another Osprey book? Now I'm going to have to edit this. But uh, just as a way of example and size-wise, here's your typical Osprey book. You know, so this this is uh, definitely you know not not a lot, not a lot smaller really, but uh, definitely smaller uh, in overall scale. So. Well, thanks uh, to our friends at Osprey for sending us this sample, and we will uh, uh, put this up on our YouTube page, obviously, and, and so forth. So please, if you're on the YouTube, you know, give us a comment, like, whatever. If you found this book interesting, if you're on our website, you can do the same in our, in our forums. And we will see you next time on Turning the Page.